guys and welcome back to my channel. Yes, again, I forgot to freaking make an intro. You think I know by now to make a damn intro. So anyways, <laughs> I reviewed the new Tarte Unicorn brushes. I used them right now in the video and I did my first cut crease. So if you want to see how I created this, keep on watching. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So... Today I'm going to test out let me unwrap them. The new Tarte Unicorn brushes. So, so first I'm just gonna do a lip scrub because my lips are really nasty. I like doing well, I only have the Lip Scrub Gingerbread Man Cookies of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Yes, I have a lot of his stuff. Now you can wipe it off or you can be a dirty bitch like me. And just eat it. So, um, I sprayed my beauty blender with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. I seen that this helps my foundation really set and I don't have to like wet my beauty blender, you know, because it's already wet with the foundation. Not with the foundation, with the setting spray. My god. My tart shape tape. And I'm just gonna use the other side of my beauty blender. not so dirty like how my other brushes get so it's transferring the product pretty good to my face and now I'm going to contour I'm gonna use this brush the flat brush and I'm gonna dip into my purple contour as always Pretty nice and expensive, I'll say that. They are kind of expensive, you know, for me. But they feel they feel really heavy on this end, so it kind of like it feels too heavy. None of my other brushes feel like that. But yeah. So now we're gonna move on to eyes. I'm going to attempt my first cut crease, so bear with me. I'm gonna use the Morphe 350 palette. And let me zoom in. I need to be like, oh, you know, hunchback. This one does feel lightweight, which is good because then I can control it good. So let's just dip right in. I'm gonna go first with 
this orange shade as my transition shade and I'm going to use my purple contour. So that's how it picked up the product. So this actually transfers the product really good too, better than my other brushes, like all of the product came off of it. I'm gonna go in with this brown, this darker brown shade. Ooh, look how it picks it up. It's just so good. And I'm just gonna take that over for my crease. Okay, and now I'm just going to grab a little bit of the Tarte ah! Shape Tape on this Kylie ah! brush. And I am going to cut my crease. So now I'm going to take this sparkly shade. I know my brush is a little stained, but I promise it is okay. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to take this Glamour Glitter, it's like a crystal one. And I'm also just going to get the tip of my brush and I'm going to put that everywhere on where I put glue. And my extra liner as always. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I so have the glitter on the crease and I'm gonna do my liner. So all I have left is to highlight, so I'm going to use the magenta one, I think it is, the magenta purple. And now for lipstick, I'm going to go in with Gemini. And 
and that was the finished video. I really like this brushes, they're really soft and they pick up the makeup really good and transfer really good onto my skin, my eyes, you know, wherever you need to put them. They are really beautiful, really heavy, they feel expensive because they are expensive. Well, for me, I don't know about you guys, but yeah. Um, I hope you guys like the video. This is the finished close up look. I also did new brows. I know it them this close. Can do it. You only do this. That look fucking. So, anyways, this is a review. I guess it's a review or tutorial, whatever. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.